Alright, Homestead Know How Life is Good. So we just got back from the co-op. We got some more uh, fruit trees for the homestead. We got these wheelbarrows for the kids that I had ordered. And we're out in the garage and it the storm started pushing through again. Thunder, lightning. And we actually just got some hail. Probably a little bigger than the size of a pea. Uh, you can't see any now because I guess it was just kind of a little quick thing that it done. So anyways, we're going to put these wheelbarrows together. And uh, I'll probably put the first one together. And then I'll do a video on putting another one together. Alright guys, so we've put one of the wheelbarrows together. Stand up please. All right, so put your hands down like you're going to like just stand there straight up. Okay, so this is my seven-year-old, so it's kind of borderline for him, and he's not like a huge seven-year-old or nothing, all right? This back bar right here that goes in between the legs didn't want to go on the way the direction showed, so I flipped it around. The bolts were too short, and it wouldn't work. All right, so what we've got is you get the tub for the wheelbarrow. You get the two wooden handles. Of course, you get the legs wrapped in plastic. And these are the, the uh, front braces for the front of the wheelbarrow. The back brace that goes between the legs. These pieces are what holds the wheel axle. And of course it goes to the wheel. And then you get your packet with your hardware in it. All right, so all you need to put it together is a 10 millimeter wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver I chose a long one, that way I can get down into the drum of the wheelbarrow. All right, now I'm gonna hand it over to my son, let him record while we're taking this plastic off. All right. Plastic is So now, story. they've already pre-drilled your holes. Now it shows in the directions. If you're doing this by yourself, you just take a piece of tape, tape the bolts up through the holes. You push the bolts up through the holes and you can tape them and then that would hold them for you. All right, they're un unwrapping everything from the plastic. Take us over and throw it in the trash can. Other way, other way. Go behind your brother. All right. All right, so now I'm just going to open this, dump it out, and then... All right, now, the last pack come with all these with the, the stuff on it. This one has one that doesn't have it on it. All right, try and keep him from running away with it. That way we have the parts we need. All right, so you get four of these. You get four of these with the nuts, washers and lock washers on it. You get two of these, which is what holds the wheel and the front braces on to the wood handles. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to come right over here. And I'm going to have him help me hold this handle on. Come here. Help me hold this handle on. Come around. Come around. Go on the other side of me, please. Go on the other side of me. All right. So he's got to hold that and this. Now, you want to make sure that the angle piece goes in the front. Straight piece goes in the back. All right. Now, I'm going to stick this up through my hole right here. And we got to line it up just like so. Put this on. And then he's going to hold that for me. And then we're going to put, move your thumb, we're going to put a flat washer, a lock washer. I have a question, why do you need to put the washers on there? And then what well, helps it from pulling through the wood and then the lock washer helps the nut to stay on. Oh, I did not know that. Alright, All right, I'm going to repeat the process. On the other side. On the other side. Like so, and of course we're going to do a flat washer. It's that bad. It's like a little piece of glue right it's there. It's just where they pulled it out of the mold. Oh. 
lock washer, and then we'll do our nut. Alright, do that real quick. Alright, I'm gonna have him pause it while we put the other leg on, because he just repeat the process on the side on the other side. So now we've got both the handles and the feet on. So we've got our braces for the front, and our, back, our back brace. All right, so this is the back brace that we had problems with the last time. It's supposed to go like this, but, it does not. but the screws ain't long enough mm -mm. to get your bolts on. So we did it like this. You flipped it around. All right, so. All you do, you put your bolt through. I don't know if I can get it to work right for me here. And the like seven year old it. brother is going wild with that wheelbarrow. Barrow. I call it wheelbarrow. I don't know why. No, well, it acts like the hole ain't big enough. No, I just ain't got it lined up. Alright, so let's try this again here. Sometimes you get stuff like this. It does not work, and that's when you take it back. They've misdrilled holes or things of that manner. And this seems to be having that Trouble. Kind of problem. Alright. Now over here. So we got it through. So we're gonna put the washers on. It's acting like that. Doesn't want to go on or fit. So we're trying a little bit of that. Okay. <laughs> now we gotta go to the other side, and this one's probably gonna be really fun because I had problems with the other side. Yeah, it's not really wanting to line up. This is not fun. This All is right. hard. So we got that. Not really. Mm, I'd say it's really. We put our it, washers on. It looks easy, but it's not really easy, period. Like, we're it's put hard. Our nut. Well, I don't know. I don't like know. So, alright, now we're going to work on the front side. Yay, front side, it's time for the wheel. Alright, if you want to come over this side. Yeah, sure. Alright, so on the front side, you have to put your wheel assembly together. Alright, so you got to take your axle, put it through your wheel, like so. Then you have to put these on the axle. These are cool. Alright. And then they fit on the end. Now this part is very annoying. Was a little difficult last time. Because you gotta kind of spread it. And then probably better if you use a rubber mallet. But we don't got one of those. We've got a rubber mallet, but my son got me a hammer. Hammer. So just be if you have to use a hammer, just don't smash it. Don't go away. Alright. Alright, so it sounds like it's on pretty good. Well, you can tell as you look up, if you see these screw holes, that's where your screws have to go for your front braces. Alright, so now I'm going to put the front braces on. And for those, they just use a wood screw. Wood screw? Flat part goes up. I mean, you're putting it through wood, so. Right, but they could have used the bolt and it would have been a better system. Yes. Alright, I'm going to use my drill just to kind of... Make it better. Run it up there. About like so. Then I'm going to do the other side. Same way. What does it look like under... Oh, it just looks like it's like... In. And you can start the screw a little bit with your finger, and that'll help. All right, so now that I got that. There's the rooter. Now you gotta go through the back side. Can you see it right here? Um, you gotta go through the back side of the wheelbarrow, put your bolt through, and you gotta kinda work force it. Force it! You gotta work it a little bit. It's not exactly. Mitt. Exactly straight, so. They should make it. Where they should test All right. it. 
So we got it like that. Put your washer. And the good thing is the lock you, washer um, and then your nut. A lock washer looks like a really lock. And you have to repeat the same process. On the other another other side. Other another side. All right, so <laughs> I don't know why that. I said that. Alright, put your stuff on it. Then he just screws it with his fingers. Alright, so you got that. Let me see the wrench and the screwdriver. Alright, so I'll, so you have to you have to hold the nut with your wrench, which I'm gonna have my son do. And then I'm gonna go inside. And take a screwdriver and just turn, turn it until it's tight. All right. Looks so. And then I'm gonna repeat the process. I don't see any sense you have to sit here and watch me tighten all the screws down, but I'm gonna pre pre repeat the process for all the screws on it. But once you're done, that's your finished wheelbarrow. All right, like I said, we bought three of these. Move for a second, so I can show the wheelbarrow. All right, I mean, this is, it's supposed to be just like a real wheelbarrow. I don't know why they put the lip on it, but I mean, it's pretty pretty thin. I mean, you can't throw rocks and stuff like that in it, but I'm hoping it'll hold up pretty decent. The funny thing and is this is true temper until it's by. We bought it at the co-op. I ordered it online and they shipped it to the store. And we went and picked it up. They called us when it was there, and we picked it up. And my son's wanting to say something about the funny thing is, so we'll see what he's got to say. The funny thing is, if you turn it over, it's yellow on this on the outside room. But when you turn it and look, put it through that light right there, it turns orange inside the thing, inside the barrel part. It's pretty deep. I'm probably going to say that it would hold five gallons. You know, this would be good, like for, you know, we go around and have them pick uh, the weeds around the edges of the building and the fences and stuff and the house, and then they feed it to the goats. So this would be really good for that. You know, if they want to help us clean the chicken brooders out, we can dump some of the pine shavings in. Or if they want to help out in the garden de-weeding, you can put the weeds in. Or if they want to use them, you know, to move some dirt around and stuff like that, it'll work great. All right, guys. Homestead know-how. Life is good. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Have a blessed evening.